it's possible for us to toy day in and day out get so many things and just when you are about to enjoy it you now die how many of our parents labor every day just when they are beginning to enjoy it sometimes the deeper revelation you are going to get is when it's unconventional that time you carry your guitar and just went into your friend's room and you strike it a new sound comes that moment you did not plan for bible study as you are talking another thing break out because you see you are not a preacher you are an interpreter and an interpreter is willing enough to find out what is god saying now because god is always saying something you pay attention to hear and interpret it and that's how we advance in the spirit by perceiving the speakings of god and acting onto it because once have the lord spoken twice have we heard it and when the lord speak and you hear it is an activation the voice of the lord activates you into your calling what he called a tribe in the spirit is not known by the name is defined by the oppression and after a while you realize your life there is a kind of operation upon your life and you trace it to a pattern by man it's not because you want to enter the tribe but the tribe defines you it conforms you to another so when you begin to join in the spirit you begin to get conformed to another you don't know why you are drawn but something something pulls you it's a divine enablement that fine tune you to another it's not as if you try to choose it but the thing chooses you it defines you it's like a cloth in a garment that just come and covers and when it rests upon you you can do nothing but to yield to it and when you try to fight against it it fights you back again and when that defines you by default the encounters the visitation become similar and sometimes you find yourself in the same school in the spirit in the same tribe as the person belong in the same class and you wonder what is supposed to do in this place and i'm here it's because you are in the same class in the spirit in that class there is no senior there is no junior there are only people that can obey god and in that kind of a class is when the sons of god gather together and you say have you seen my servant job have you seen what is going on here son of man what about last night if you have inquired you acquire don't wait to see bishop david to edipo there's a place in the spirit where he appears daily that he sit in his room and he appear in that place you can sit there and you can talk with him when you went to see the man the protocol stop you say don't worry you go back in the spirit you sit in the class as you sit in the class at night you see the man sitting together with you, you say alpha how are you doing you say ah, but your protocol stopped me before now you are in the spirit and now you are in the same class and the man said, ah, you like you are a small boy. He said, no, here I am, an, I am a young ancient. The same spirit upon you is the same spirit upon me. So you wonder why Kachinkuma appear. Wonder why Bessie does appear. It's a class in the spirit. And in that place, they without you are not being made perfect. They are trying to come to release the same spirit of faith. Wise men sit in that class and they learn. So you read the writings of men and you travel into the same oppressions with them in the spirit. And you wonder why. You wonder why the encounters are defining you. Why that the poor nature will come and carry you and go for evangelism. Ah, what is going on here? It's because there is a kind of operation and it has to be transferred. In the physical, his protocol may stop you, but in the spirit, there are no protocol. Because his protocol don't even have access to the him in the realm of the spirit. I rather know a man in the spirit than to know him in the flesh. So Paul said, We know we know man after the flesh. Because inheritors are transferring the spirit. So Elijah may have many sons of the prophets as called, many of them, but only Elisha knew the way in the spirit. He said, do you know our father is going to go? He said, yes, I've seen him in the spirit and I will take the mantle. And every other person was waiting. When the father will say, I love you so much, take the ten portion. And the other one said, no, I know where this thing will drop. And he continued to advance. And Kiazi could no longer decipher. In the days the man to advance together, he took upon himself left person. Every father has a two-edged sword, the one that can bless and the one that can curse. In the spirit you receive an inheritance in the flesh you receive a curse you choose the one you should receive god has given unto you a man and in the class in the school of the feast of light in the school of light is so that you can join into the same order and that what the lord is doing with him you may not be able to understand but you can sit in the same class there is a convergence in the spirit where you can sit upon there there is a table where the lord sit together and they begin to discuss in that place as they are talking to apostle you too they'll be talking to you as they are defining his life, they will be defining your life. And when you come, you begin to speak and you wonder, why am I seeing this thing? As opposed to his preaching here, like, as if I have had this thing before. As if this thing was talked to me before. Yes, you were in the same school with him in the spirit. And while he was hearing those things, you two, you were hearing it. You may not have understood like him, but as he's teaching you, ah, as if I have had this thing before. As if Apostle discussed this thing with me. No, you were in the same school in the spirit. You are joining to the pathway of inheritance in the spirit. So you wonder why would what happening carry what? the other women carry and as he advanced barrier would enter partake of it 
as he advanced Katinkuma partake of it as it advanced Benin partake of it as it advanced Pastor Chris partake of it of course the same kind of definition so you may not know why the Lord said no boyfriend for you to the next 10 years and you wonder why Katinkuma has spoken to you and when she has, has spoken to you you are sent with her in the class she said no boyfriend you wonder why you are drawn to fast and to pray but Abandon has come and because he has spoken unto you you don't know why you are praying you are trying to sleep you are still praying as you are sleeping your spirit is praying but Abandon there is a class you are drawn to the secret place every time it's the presence of God there is a desperation for him catching Kuma Benny him there is just something that draws you it's a school in the spirit and every father is a junction and a pathway to inheritance we don't follow fathers to use their name we follow them to join into inheritance it's not about legacy it's about inheritance the legacy is the building structure the inheritance is actually the operations of god locked up in a tribe what jacob gave to his sons was not was not tablet was not nera was not dollar he didn't give them a property to inherit he gave them an inheritance he spoke unto ordinary men those men became a clan they became a tribe and they became a superstructure that in the new jerusalem you cannot become anything except with them in the school of life you join into the same inheritance and you see this thing is defining you don't know why they're burden upon you god has a portion unto you a priest and if the lord designed that you marry a priest you cannot live any other how so the same kind of schooling and teaching and discipline you go through the same and every training that you go through you will go through and you wonder why i'm going through this pain why me why the suffering why the hardship yes it's part of it it's part of the responsibility of the demand of the apostolic calling the apostolic calling is finding expression upon hard cows when a place is hard to send apostles you don't send pastor a pastor will chick and run away when the thing look very hard a pastor will pack his load and run away he's looking for a greener pastor an apostle will labor he will find the water books and bring again another kind of word that will spring up so why am I saying not to a hard cow? It's because it's hard. And an apostle is the solution to the hard cow. In the days persecution broke out, all of them were scattered. The Bible says even the doubting Thomas went to India. His doubting does not isolate him. He was sent also. A day we come, we have to send you. And whether you are doubting, you must be sent. Why? Because there is a need for the recovery of the Edoma kingdom. Now is the time. The Lord has spoken to our fathers, they are failed. Now he's beckoning upon the children. And when the Lord beckon upon the children, he says, someone, we must hearken and we must hear. And now is not the time that we underestimate the power of spiritual motherhood. The Bible spoke about Timothy, said there is a faith upon your grandmother and your mother. Now is the time for the devil and the Esther to awake. Now is the time for the mothers of Timothy to arise. Now is the time where women shall be figured out in the affairs of God. You are not a weaker person, you are a warrior in the spirit. And now is no longer time for things as usual. No, it's a time to awake unto your responsibility. Yet again, locate your palm tree and stand by there and activate the order of priesthood. Because in the day you lose your ordination, you become twerkers in Bia Palace. Now is not time for TikTok and Instagram as usual. Now is time for spiritual influence. Where are the daughters of the Pleiades? Your influence should bring men to the kingdom. Let men see you and see a new glory. Now is not time to draw men to affliction. Now is time to draw men to liberty. And let men see you and see your glory and see the glory of the Father towards you. Let there be a glory emanating towards you. Let men see you and see a new servant, a new beauty. There is a glory and a covering in you upon the realm of the spirit. And that is your definition. That is your advantage. Forget about the pancake and the masalat. There is no need for that decoration if there is a glory in the spirit. That glory is the citadel of attraction. It's the citadel of covering. There is an advantage in the spirit for you. Forget about the disadvantage in the flesh. Join into an advantage in the spirit. Don't tell me you are trying to keep a virginity without the spirituality of the Lord. The Lord does not need your virginity. He needs your activations in the spirit. The Lord needs your ordination. Yet again, the Lord reawakens you again. In the days of virgin, the Lord chose a rehab. Why? An ordination. Don't neglect your ordination because of your virginity. Awake unto kingdom responsibility. Mary was not just a virgin. She understood ordination in the spirit. So she stayed upon the temple. Deborah understood her palm tree. The citadel of ordination. She may be defied by Labidot, but she understood her operations. Esther was not just beautiful. No, it took 12 months to decorate her in the physical. But she understand fasting and prayer. Beauty brought her to the palace. Ordination in the spirit kept her there. That we say days of warfare. In that day, only your ordinations in the spirit will speak. 
in that day you become upon all the nations and angels are activated. There are days angels do not pay careful attention to the beauty on your face. They pay attention to your ordinations in the spirit. Do you know your gate in the spirit, O woman of war? Do you understand your language in the spirit? Can you utter decrees and thunders we bow? When can you sound a decree and the heavens will be open? We are not looking for beautiful women. We are looking for women that understand times and seasons. Those that can reshape the times and the orders in the spirit. A day came, Moses was in danger. The Lord came to kill him and his wife and activate priesthood. Say, my husband will not die, my husband will live. And she understand the kind of sacrifice and the circumcision to offer. In the day the Lord come to kill your husband, what can you do for him to survive? In the days the enemy come, is it about your beauty? Or is it about your stature in the spirit? Where are the women of stature? Where are the women of intercession? When are we going to join ladies for you, for you to begin to mentor and guide them? If you cannot keep your spiritual life, how can you keep others? If you cannot lead yourself, how can you lead others? So there is a vacancy of spiritual motherhood. And because of that vacancy, men can no longer weave together again with women. In the day Jesus Christ's ministry was fulfilled by the ordinances of motherhood. Surrounded by men, but yet again preserved by women. We are looking for the moment at the time where the womb of women will be built for traveling. Your womb shall be built for traveling. I'm looking for a day your wife will say, Sleep, my husband, this battle belongs to me. When we men see you, are not just say, See, baby, give me your numbers. Baby, lay hands on me. Release an impartation upon me. I have seen grace and fire upon you. Lay hands upon me. When will men come to you and submit and say, Mentor me and guide me? I have seen the fire of God upon your life. I submit to your grace. Why can't our women survive again? Where are the women mentored by Apostle Adam Osai? Where are the women mentored by Bishop David Oedipo? Where are the women mentored by our fathers, Apostle Adam, Joshua Salman? Where are the women we have mentored? How come women cannot handle, handle hollow handle matters? You are not a weak goddess. You are not an emotional being. You are a warrior in the spirit. And you have to be able to understand that so that you can stand upon your guard. And your womb shall be borrowed for traveling in the days of war because you are part of the tool that the design patterns of warfare you are part of the battle as of the lord the boyfriend should not become a kadesh benia it should not become the end of your spiritual journey no there comes a moment and a time where you ascend and this is at the moment this is at the time welcome to the feast of light welcome to the feast of sound can you hold your hands together and begin to pray and say oh god let my ordination be sharpened on you and as I lay hands on you the idea is to activate you into your function the Lord told me father the Lord told me Philip Zephas many years ago say Philip Zephas a man I help is always better than a man that help himself we cannot help ourselves our journey in God actually begins from the very day God begins to help us. That is the help of God. That is the stone of help. Thus far as the Lord helps us. He becomes our happiness, our stronghold. We are not prevailing by strength, but we are prevailing by the help of God. There are ministries that have lasted for 30 years, 40 years. They cannot approve and apportion for the result and effect of this. It's the stone of help. We are not ignorant of it and if there is an ordination of God that causes his help within this location, it means we can be a partaker of it. And I want you to know that when the Lord begins to help you, it's because of the thing that he has a portion for you. So as I lay my hands on you, the Lord will fine-tune you right, so that by the time you go back, there's going to be schooling and encounters. Teachings in the spirit that will take you higher. And full activations into that operation. Church, stretch out your hand towards them and pray for them. And say, Oh God, upon these ones, let there be a breaking in a new day. Mm 
Receive the fire of God. I activate you. I activate you. I activate you. I breathe upon you life. I breathe upon you life. Receive the fire of God. Receive the fire of God. I ordain you into a new operation in the spirit. I activate you. I activate you. Walk in reality. Walk in reality. These are not the days of parables. These are the days where we join into the realities. I activate you into the reality of your calling. Function in light. Function in light. Function in light. By the flames and the fire of the Lord. By the flames and the fire of the Lord. I breathe upon you. I breathe upon you. Carry the fire of God. Carry the strength of God. I activate you to your calling. 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 I release flames and fire. Flames and fire. Flames and fire. Carry the fire of God. Carry the flames of God. Carry the flames of God. I release new oil. New oil. New oil. New oil. New oil to function. New oil to function. New oil to function. You are not small. Out of the belly. Out of the belly. Out of that belly, out of that belly, out of that belly, out of that belly, shall flow rivers, 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 rivers. They are coming from the west. They are coming from the west. We are the ones. They are always in the They are coming from the north. They are coming from the east. They are the world. I release grace upon you. I release grace upon you. I release fire, fresh 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 fire. 